All right, here we go. Uh, oh, there's different modes. We'll go normal mode. Transmitting final briefing. As of now, Airborne Squad 7 will exterminate the Alpha Nativas occupying District 3. Their objective is the capture or dispatchment of the Elder Nativa. Pods entering atmosphere. One minute until threshold is reached. They're weird looking ships. Oh. Okay. I don't need Wi Fi. <laughs> Is our character like in one of these? Or is this just a weapon? Oh, they're really focusing on this one. Well. Seven five three one. Pod landing complete. Removing physical shield. Opening hatch. Well, we survived. Hatch. Come on, come on. Oh, R two. Oh. Am I? <laughs> was I meant to hold it? Or... Dab it. I think we're okay. Take my hand. Okay. Oh, oh, where's we're in like liquid? What's that in her hair? is very shiny. I want to look around. Hey, but I know way. shit's happening, so I probably should go. Oh, fuck. Uh, press triangle for a strong attack. I'm just gonna... Oh, I can pause. I was like, can I pause? Hello there. Hello. Uh, I'm gonna uh, sure. Cool. Thank you. Um, you like her tie? Uh, yeah, she does have a tie. I do like the, the green outfit. It's, it's cute. Um, also, what can we mean? Is it jovial? Better shields cost extra, I'm afraid. Yeah. Also, Horror Junkie, welcome in. Thank you for the luck. Uh, and I, uh, welcome in. Oh, Yannick. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. 
We probably shouldn't have survived that fall. Uh, Rage, welcome in. Do you get to make her look however you want? Um, I don't think so. We haven't had any... Like, we didn't have, like, a character creation. I don't know if we can change her outfit. Hopefully we can. Okay, so we want... L1 to guard. What's my shield? Oh, is that a parry? I don't know if I can lock on. I can lock on. Too. I see you still have your combat senses. Great. Coordinates? Game is pretty. Look at the graphics. 400 meters in front of us. I want to explore, but I, this is not the time for exploring ever. Stop it. <laughs> uh oh. Run! That was close. Can we jump over it? Come here. Have to jump. Yeah, that's that's the that's the jump tutorial. Ooh. Oh, that thing is creepy. Watch out! Okay, it's yeah, thank you for the lock on. I'll this one. Uh, did I perfect parry? I think I did. Ooh, nice! I didn't even mean to do that. Watch out. I feel like There's she more. like runs kind of slow. Press L1 and uh, hold L1 and press square to use a what, what, what's square again? It's not that one. <laughs> okay, I mean that that works. I think that's like a it's like, like a special attack. Great, let's go. Obviously, square is attack. There's a lot going on. Are you alright? My body frame. Take this. First aid. Nice. Thank you. Up to use potions. Hold to select more potions. Okay. Where's my my HP's down there? All right. Um. Actually, what I might do quickly, because the chat box is kind of covering my health, I'm gonna just move it up a little bit. Um. Hopefully. Let me move it. Is that good? No, it what needs to be further. <laughs> Don't mind me. You can just put it up there. Okay. Hold to rush? Why is it getting all weird out here? Did something time out? Did I? My health wasn't low, huh? I'm confused. Are you right? Thank you. There's more of them. But I didn't. I didn't need to heal. Thank you. Ouch. Do my little dash, but I can't run. You secured. Rendezvous point in sight. Nice. This way. Oh. Watch out for I, would, I, I swear I pressed this before. Maybe I didn't though. I thought I did, but maybe you couldn't do it yet. We can run. Ouch. 
close. This isn't looking good. Let's go. I'm afraid someone's gonna happen to our friend here. An alpha named Tiba. Let's join them. Okay, we got like a mini boss. Ooh. I mean, that'll do. Did that kill it or? No. No. It. The squad's life signs. Yeah, it also killed We're the, the only squad. Two left. Shit. Eve. Eve, pull yourself together. Taki. Listen to me. We haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand? Yeah, her hair's definitely getting in the way. <laughs> Oh, it's not, it's not dead. Oh shit. Okay, that can't kill it then. Oh. Eve, are you ready? It has weird hands. Groove. This thing is gross. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to parry. There we go. Let's heal. It's almost dead though. Oh, I was like, quick time event? No, just a cutscene. Oh. This is like very like theatrical. <laughs> that cutscene and the way they it finished it off. Alpha, but it was a strong one. You fought well, even better than during training. You were all together, but then... <laughs> the damage to your body frame is serious. We have to find the supply camp. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Eve! Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, she's fine. I thought our Eve, friend died. Are you all right? We'll be okay. We're fine. Oh, what is that? Alpha Nativa. <gasps> 
That's creepy. Do I have to fight you now? I don't want to fight you right now. Is she going to fight them and she's... Don't fight by yourself. Here, friend. It's me you want. No! Oh. Ah! oh shit, she lost her arm. Fuck. What did I say, like... Eve, get out of here. Ten minutes ago? Ducky! What did I say? I was like, I feel like she's gonna die. Something's gonna happen to her. I definitely think they're droids though. I don't think they're human. Obviously, I don't know, but... Why didn't I save the other hot girl? It didn't give me the chance. Thank you for the follow. It's quiet. Still, make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and AT buy is. Hmm. Okay, it's really annoying that it keeps doing that. Can I just disconnect it from the Wi Fi? Now, get ready. I'll be supporting with the drone. Okay. I just noticed her shoes. There's... So this must be eight or seven. Yes. There was like no heel. This was the final battlefield of civilization. It was also known as a truly colossal city. Something is falling from the sky. A strange sensation. This must be Earth's rain. Rain? We can admire the scenery later. We have a job to do here. <gasps> Silent Street. The terrain data's changed recently. This environment's very pretty. Data bank update. Oh. Hold that button to view. I forget which one that is. No, that's a photo. Data bank. The characters. They're like hooves, yeah. That's one I'm like, yeah, they're definitely they're definitely not human. Cause there ain't no way anyone is gonna be fighting with their foot like that. <laughs> In like a, it's a, it's obviously like they're wearing heels, but like not. I'm like, they they gotta be like droids, because of that. The game is so pretty. It is pretty. It's so pretty, isn't it? Um. Also, Rach, I think you can change the difficulty on this game. I think it has difficulty options. There's a, I think there was a, there was a story mode at the very beginning. You didn't see the databank thing. We'll have a look. That's good. Maybe I can actually play it then. Yeah. Uh, do I get more info? Also, I might turn off my um, internet or like properly connect it or something because it's... I think it's messing up because I, I had to take the PS5 from downstairs up here to play this. So... Tachi is the commanding officer of the 7th Airborne Squad. They say that in the colony's combat simulations, her speed was unmatched. Her name is 
Tachi for a good reason. The seventh airborne squad gets obliterated by Natibus. Is that how you say it? While entering the Earth's atmosphere. However, the mission is still a go. Tachi finds Eve and intends to regroup with their squad. Yet the Natiba's onslaught practically wipes out Tachi's squad. Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with this. Uh, to make matters worse, an, Id an identified Natiba strikes without warning, leaving both Tachi and Eve at death's door. In this desperate moment, Tachi sacrifices herself to save Eve. There is still life in the flames of hope. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to... Um, I might just do a quick little BRB while I deal with the... Um, the, the, the internet being really annoying. Um, so give me a couple of, I don't know, give me like a minute. I won't be, I won't be long, I won't be long at all. Uh, Cause it's really frustrating. Thank you, trial. I'm not going to, but thank you. <laughs> I would like to bring this with <laughs> This could be good. All right, I'm back. I just, I just turned it off. I don't need it in here. You hate Wi-Fi cable and everything's best. Yeah, we, um, well, because we have different Wi-Fi upstairs and downstairs. It was trying to connect to the downstairs one and because it's not very good. That's why we have one upstairs and one downstairs. It was trying to connect to the other one and kept disconnecting. Um, otherwise, if we're like installing games and stuff, um, we'd usually use cable for that. But yeah, that's, that's why it was doing that. Just really annoying. Thank you for the follow. You may play this uh, if it comes to PC, yeah. Well, Emma has two Wi-Fi's. Well, it's the same Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's the same internet, it's, you know. We just have different modems. One for downstairs, one for upstairs. Um, Adam, Adam is a scavenger from Zion. He saved Eve's life from an unidentified Natiba. Though Eve did not trust him at first, Adam suggests that he and Eve work together, and so they arrive at Eidos 7. Ooh, and this is like a enemy one. That's a thorn head. Thornheads are natibas with thorny heads and long, fragile bodies. It is not known if they have organs for seeing or hearing, and little has been discovered about their biology. It is certain, however, that they attack in small groups. Thornheads are not overly intimidating enemies. They can easily be taken down from the front. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Beholder. Beholders are natibas with gruesomely twisted bodies, sporting a bone saw blade on one arm. Their shape makes it difficult to distinguish their characteristics. However, when they stare at you with their beady, piercing yellow eye, it's easy to see why some call them watchers. Beholders attack by slashing with their bones or blades. Stay calm and fight back against them. Elite Natiba. Brute. Natiba are clearly adaptable creatures. At first, it was believed they were simply quick to mutate. However, when the enormous brutes ripped open machine cores to attach them to their tentacles and draw energy, huh, we realized that the Natiba's evolutionary potential was limitless. Brutes are beasts with superhuman power. Be careful of their aggressive attacks that span wide areas. When a brute is enraged, it overloads its machine core. Overloading cores turn bright yellow and cause explosions. Brutes, brutes explosive attacks come in a variety of forms, including continuous explosions, shockwaves, and ground blasts. Keep your distance and act fast. So they're kind of like a... Combination of like machinery and organic material I guess um because they grabbed they drew they drew energy from the machine core hmm. all right we've done that cool hey Katie how you doing uh the demo is going well so far we've just gone through the first section and now we're in kind of like the first area to explore I guess Oh, there's a phone. Oh, fast travel. Also, hopefully the audio has been good for you guys. It looks like it is. I might actually turn it up for myself. Going well so far. I wouldn't say that, but... 
Yeah, we had a friend and it didn't go so well for them. My character's fine. I'm enjoying the game, but yeah, not... Oh, are these like... Oh? Be careful. Also, do you guys see the rain on like the screen? Oh, I can break that. I can break these. Am I getting stuff? Oh, hello. Ooh. Is coming. These ones are kind of spider-like. <laughs> Press R2 to acquire items. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, it's trigger. Yeah, I was doing R1. Can I collect these thingies? I wasn't sure if I was collecting them before. I was not. Okay. Our friend that Ember does. I did not decide to help them. I couldn't help them. Anything in here? Oh, there's a body. This is the legion that was killed in the final war. Mm -hmm. Passcode. R O A R O A. It kind of looks like that. There's an encrypted code in the memory stick. That's Hold the options code. button to view. A type of entry permit. Passcode. Okay. And of course we saw these creepy things. Cre creepy things. They're called creepers. Creepers are small but deadly nativas. They have razor sharp tails and flexible bodies that can move in unexpected ways. Creepers are not overly intimidating enemies. However, don't let them swarm you. Creeper swarms usually contain unstable entities. They'll charge at you and attempt to self-destruct. So stay. Oh, okay. Same choice. Ah, this is what I'm going to need for the door. Do I need the... Try entering the cup. Mm hmm Oh, was it ROA? It worked. I'm glad I remember that. Yep. Oh, can we swim? <gasps> we can swim! Cool. I see them. That number up there is yes. Yeah. Like Ooh, what are you looking at? <laughs> Buy to coin. There's a record player. Oh, camp. Camps are places where you can save your progress and get some rest. Ah, it's the bonfire. You can activate them by obtaining Vitco Vitcoins? Is it meant to be Vitcoins? Vitcoin sounds like Bitcoin, but with a V. Found near camps. Okay. Sit down on the chairs at camps to recover HP and refill the rechargeable tumbler. Your stored items will be retrieved if space is available. Some enemies will be revived when resting at the camp. Yeah, okay. Use the vending machine at a camp to purchase items. You can learn or train skills through the kiosk. Sweet. 
Well, we may as well. <laughs> Let's look at the shop. Uh, look at me in getting your hair done. Nice. I hope it turns out well. Uh, director, welcome in. Hello. This looks incredibly good. It's a game that you need. It's a very pretty game. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing this is just like... That's obviously a good, a very good healing item. Lingering potion, continuously restores HP, shock grenade, pulse grenade, damage the enemy's shield, SP initializer, resets the skill tree and refunds all SP. But when you run out of memory due to system dump files or when you want to reset the AOS, the EDOS company has launched a DOI initializer to meet the diverse needs of its customers. It's easy, just hold it towards your head and press the button. Okay. Skill settings. You can learn any skill. I can. Cool. Press R2 to change the change to survival tree. Select perfect dodge. Ooh, perfect dodge. Perfect dodge sounds good. You can use SP to learn skills. SP is acquired through defeating natives or exploring. Okay. I guess SP is like our souls. <laughs> Your friend finally decided to come over and do it for you. Nice. I guess skill points, yeah. Uh, Paradigm, welcome in. I am doing good. Okay. Uh, perfect dodge. Completely evades enemy attacks. Upon successful perfect dodge, press triangle to perform an additional attack. A successful perfect dodge charges burst energy. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Hold X to learn perfect dodge. Cool. There's training here. Can we... Oh, there's an item here. Next song. Let's rest. We get a cutscene. Probably just for our first rest. She's remembering. Uh oh. Well, thanks for the help. Is that our friend we met before or someone else? What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. Nothing? From here on, you have to stay alert, Eve. Okay. Yeah, so those ones respawned. Will they follow me though? Ooh, what is that? That did not work. And that did not work either. <laughs> and I, I need to press triangle. I am not timing that well. the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't looking at my health.
but also the way that it like kind of like exploded open. It's fine. I don't need to learn the timing on it. We got it like once. <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen again. Hopefully. What's happening with this? Ooh, I can't. Ooh, is that an item? Is an item. Oh, Ooh. it's one of the Legion's old supply boxes. Oh, okay. Uh, press up to use the currently selected potion. Hold to select the desired potion. Well, it's Legion, so compatibility. Yeah, so we've got a... lingering potion, highly concentrated potion, and just our usual one. Cool. Make sure to take everything. Don't worry, I'll try to find everything that I can and take it. Ooh. The water. Oh, I was like, we need to do some platforming yeah, here. Be See the rapids below. If you fall, it's over. Yep. Um, okay. Hopefully she can make it. I don't know if she's going to make this. Okay, now it's fine. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh. <gasps> nice. We like that. Enemies maintain their stance with balance. Balance is displayed below the HP and shield gauges. Okay. I was wondering what that was. Hey, Bunny, welcome in. How you doing? It's giving Silent Hill Cockroach Mantis. Mm. Uh, no worries, Alma. Have a good sleep. Thanks for hanging out. You can knock enemies off balance by performing a perfect parry. Yes, that's what I was doing before. Enemies that are completely off balance become groggy. Use retribution to deal massive damage. Okay. So they do they they must yeah they must lose all those points under their health. Yeah, if we get another one. And then we do triangle. We get that big attack. Nice. Okay, am I going that way or am I going this way? Ooh, there's an enemy down here. I feel like our character walks really slow once I've like locked on to an enemy. She walks a lot slower. Nice. I was like, I think there's going to be an item in there. I don't know if we can... Well, we can go this way. Oh, fuck. Where did you come from? Also, I should probably heal. I don't know how much that gives me, though. So maybe I use that too early. It's fine. So the our weapon is obviously like an electric one or it's I can hear like electricity and every time it like makes the electricity sound I feel like I need to be aware that I'm gonna get hit by lightning <laughs> like in like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom that sound oh hello what the fuck are you you are creepy Oh. Oh. Oh, that's what the scan is for. Nice. I got it. Yeah, the enemy design in this game is very creepy. Nice. Omni bolt used as material for expanding something. Gear. Gear is equipment that can improve ease combat capabilities. Ah. 
You can equip gear in gear sockets to boost your desired combat capabilities. You can access gear sockets in the equipment tab by pressing the options button to enter the menu. You can collect Omni bolts to unlock more slots and equip more gear. All right, let's have a look. Gear. Combo attack enhancement gear. Level two or higher. I don't know what level I am. I'm not sure. Uh, everything went dark. Oh no, you've, your power's cut out, Paradigm. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, is this on Xbox? I don't think so, Fitz. I think it is PlayStation only, and I think maybe PS5 only, even. Uh, hey, DP, welcome in. Uh, it's a lot of fun so far. It's a lot of fun. Uh, my weekend was good, Bunny. We had a busy day yesterday. Um, my sister and brother-in-law uh, were moving, so... I didn't do much help in the actual moving part, but we helped babysit <laughs> so that they didn't have to, you know, they didn't have to look after the baby. So it was busy, but it was good. We got, we got to do lots of babysitting, which was really nice. All right, let's equip that. Increases attack power of combo attacks level two or higher. Sweet. Depending on its intended use, body firmware come in different types. The range of normal operation for gear also varied for each firmware type. This meant that you couldn't just pick up a module and use it. It was the painful reality faced by the citizens of Zion who were dumped on the ground empty-handed. Well, I'm glad I went this way and fought that creature. I figured this might be a dead end. The baby didn't help with the move. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, she got lots of auntie uncle time. Is your skill when it comes to moving the same as me? All I do is point and tell other to move it. I don't know what you mean. Okay, scan. We, we learned that before. Uh, press to scan to have the drone scan the surrounding area. Scanning locates places you can hang. You can hang, huh? Over there. Are other cities in a similar state? By comparison, this city is looking pretty good. After the colony extinction, most places were nothing but dust. I guess it's showing me there's an item in there. Go to the Hall of Records. Okay. It's like a red light here. I was gonna say, that looks. I probably shouldn't hit those. Yeah. I mean, that'd be good if there were enemies nearby. I'm glad they didn't explode Wait, on, like, right away. Cancel. Let's open the car's hood. I already did that before. Already did it. I guess he's could be, like, oh, giving the hints. Right. At least the fusion cells intact. Mm, that looks fusion important. Cell? It's a high energy compression battery. Thanks to that, Earth's night isn't dark yet. Oh, it's the previous generation of the infinity cell. Be sure to keep that. It's very valuable. Mm. You used to activate a fusion drive. Okay. Oh fuck! That just came out of bloody nowhere. Oh no no no! I'm in the middle of fighting something. <laughs> Great. 
Yeah, 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 I see what I'm doing. I'd already figured this. Oh, is that? Oh, that's a big guy right there. Come over here. Okay. I don't know where the other guy went that I was fighting. I think maybe because it went into the cutscene and everything, he disappeared. Okay. Nice. That works. Alright. Oh, okay. Looks like we're fighting this thing now. Don't know where that other guy went. Can you hit that? Yeah, that's great. I'm out of health items. Oh, jeez. Oof. Yeah, I'm out of I'm out of health. We are not gonna get this one. Beta skill ready? No. <laughs> Yeah, I took too much damage before that. Her long hair would be problematic. Oh yeah, it, it is not ideal for fighting at all. <laughs> Even the, enemy, the other enemies said, fuck that, yeah. Okay. Well, they've given us kind of like a little checkpoint here. I'm not gonna go fight that other guy or... Yeah, nah, not yet. We'll wait. Can I, can I skip this? Skip. That's a big one, I didn't realize that. I might even save the other things for the um the big guy. Ouch. The explosives. I got a beta skill ready. I don't know which one that is. Okay. Is that okay, now it's the big guy. Now it's the big guy. We can lure you over here. No, you're meant to... We're going to need to heal soon, but I don't want to heal just yet. Okay, now we should heal. Heal, please. Okay. We're doing better this time. There we go. We're in the clear. <sighs> Where do we go now? We... Yeah, but there's the other guy. We need to go back for the other guy. And also around here. There's something here. Nano element. Oh, I think this is going to link up to the other guy, maybe? Come here. It is, the screen is going kind of red around here. That was not a good parry. <laughs> also, it's different playing a game that has like the 
the music is has someone singing in it too. I don't play many games that do that. Hmm, I wonder if... No, this is different to where the other guy was. But this does look a little concerning. The hair would be impractical, but it looks fabulous. Yes. If she can fight in those shoes, she can fight with that ponytail. True. <laughs> uh, Formula, welcome in. Hello, how you doing? I've had this hair colour for... Hang on. Thirteen years. Also thinking for the stretch days. Yes. So does this feel like Sekiro with the parries? Uh no, this feels more like Lies of P with the parries. Sekiro is very much like you kind of like you parry a lot more than in this one. I feel it feels more like Lies of P parrying where it's like You do parry a lot. Yeah. Hey Vito, welcome in. And Tex, hello. I am doing good. I hope you're doing well. I'm a little worried about what that is. Look at that. I think they're gonna turn. There's something like funky behind them. Unless it's just like a memory thing. No, you are alive! You are alive. I fucking thought so. He's like the other guy, but he doesn't have the... I'm gonna heal. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <gasps> no! No! Oh, fuck you. Okay, that didn't do much at all. That's, a f that's fine. That was that was easy. All good. Uh, obviously you have to fight the guy to probably look at whatever this thing is. Aww. Investigate. May your memories live on forever. Eh, number of beta cores required for max beta energy increase too. Okay, well I'm glad I walked around here and found that. We need to go back to that other area though where the other guy was. But I'm also tempted to maybe we'll like rest and then fight him. I don't think these guys here and this big guy would respawn again because that was kind of like a... I don't know, maybe like a mini boss. But we need to go... Bar, bar 99 is where. And we're not far. Or are we far? Oh, we're kind of far from our rest. Uh, well, we can... Oh, do we fight him with no health? Although, actually... I've got these. We do have more health items. This one, though. This one is the slow regen, so I do need to be careful... Ah, uh, oh, this is, yeah, this is handy to be able to see where they are. Hello. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I don't be stuck behind the freaking wall. Okay, I think we'll be right. That's fine. But I should heal before fighting this thing. <laughs> nice, that was much easier than the first one we fought. 
Okay, what's in here? There's got to be something in here. Something over there. Nice. Hmm. We got a big chest. I need a pass card? Oh, that's not fair. It didn't even let me put a passcode in. Like, I didn't even know what it... I couldn't even choose any. Like, on here, like, you just... There's no way to choose them. So I don't think I know it yet. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I guess we might have to come back for that. Hopefully you remember, buy 99 if there's something that gives us a password for... Hint. I'm, I'm curious to see what they say. Follow the markers placed by the Legion. Game. It's, I know where to go. <laughs> it thinks I don't know where to go because I've been busy doing other stuff. But I did the other stuff because I didn't want to progress yet. <laughs> Erin's going to New Zealand in a couple months and we're going to try to meet up. Oh, cool. Oh, that's exciting, Tex. Hopefully it works out. Oh, this looks a bit dangerous. <gasps> no. Do we? I don't know if we have full damage. Ugh. I don't like this. Oh, nice. <laughs> Do I climb up, up here? I thought we had to go down. I don't want to have to go down. I was going to say that's... I don't see anything down there. There's an item down here. Oh, it's just over there. Okay, but like, do I go down here? It doesn't look like I need to. It's that way. Okay. Can I... Hmm. I don't know how to get back up. Oh. Oh, hang on. Yellow. Yellow paint. You have to cross here. Do you see the ladder behind me? Like that one over there? It was a different one. Okay. I wasn't expecting, yeah, like this kind of. Well, it's not really platforming, but... Um, I see that. Can I go swimming down here? I'm gonna jump into the water. And hope that we don't die. I can't reach the ladder. The water level is too low. Try using the plank. Yeah, can I break this? Also, what's over here? What's over here? Anything? Nothing? Alright. I think we're meant to push these. Not that way. This way. No. Will that do? Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. It's fine. So let's move it over a little bit more this way. Can we... I, I'm trying to... You know what? 
Maybe we get one of these ones instead. What is this Resident Evil? Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, she's pushing this one way better than the others. <laughs> than that other thing there. Oh. Like, I thought I could maybe break this one, but... Uh, can I jump and grab on? There we go. Cool. <gasps> hey! We got that. Activate the camp. <sighs> Skill settings. I've got one skill point. So there's attack, survival, two ones that are locked, beta. Okay. Attack. What do we have for attack? Ambush. Executes the enemy from behind. Can only be used on enemies that aren't in combat. So it's like a sneak attack. Beta energy recharge. Recharges more beta energy when on when an attack lands. We've already got a bunch of these. Aerial blow hits the enemy in the air and then lands. Ignores the enemy's guard. A combo attack skill. Oh, so if we jump and press triangle, that's kind of cool. Rush chain one. You need. We need two skill points for these. Okay. What about this one? That needs one. Uh, let's look at survival. I will say the yellow painting. This one was not super obvious. It was. It was very subtle. And I was like, where do I go? And then I noticed. I was like, oh. I see where I can go. <laughs> it does help. Uh, the demo is a lot of fun, Sean. It is really good. You put yellow paint on your steps at home so I know how to get upstairs. Yeah. So you know which way to go. <laughs> I will say I don't mind it in, in modern games. Because like with older games, right? With the level, the quality of the graphics, it was usually quite obvious when you could interact with something where you couldn't because of the types of graphics. Not not, not every game, but a lot of games. Um, and then with one, modern ones, because everything looks so realistic, it's like, okay, what can I actually interact with and what, I, what can't I interact with? I think it would be nice if it was like an option that you could, if someone wanted to be able to turn it off. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. Everything's more realistic now. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII is a really definitely a good example of that. Yes, yeah. I think the I think Rebirth got that people were complaining about it in that game too. You're gonna have a hard time with that skill tree. I don't know what to choose. That's the perfect dodge that we just got before. Reflex boost, make it easy to use perfect dodge. That would be nice, but I can't get that one yet. Um, reflection. Okay, so that uses one of our, there's a little square made up of four boxes. The square made up of four squares. So I, I noticed those near my health. Can only be used upon a successful perfect dodge of an enemy's attack. Counters and stuns the enemy and temporarily increases attack speed. I'm not really doing good at the, uh, the perfect dodge at the moment. Perfect parry though, I am good with the perfect parry. Uh... Can only be used upon successful perfect parry of an enemy's attack. Moves quickly behind the enemy to counter. Stuns the enemy. This is a combo attack skill. After perfect parry. Hold square and then triangle. That's if I remember that. Increase the amount of beta energy recharge with a successful perfect parry. 
Oh, it makes it easier to use Perfect Parry. I haven't had any trouble with it at the moment. Um... Okay. I don't know what I want. Shockwave consumes two of them, unleashes two waves of fatal energy. I need to remember, like, I'm, I'm probably not doing a lot of these special attacks because I just, I'm forgetting. I'm just, I'm just pressing attack, really. I don't know why you'd complain about it. I actually like it. Yeah, it's, it's helpful. Like I was saying, it's helpful with games that look so realistic. Um, but yeah, I think, I think having it as an option, maybe having it on, on, on as default, but then if someone really wants to turn it off, like, I don't know how easy that would be to implement in a game. I don't know. I'm not a game dev, but I don't, I don't feel like it would be that difficult. People would turn off the yellow paint and then get pissed off. They can't find anything and complain on Reddit. Mm. Then they can just turn the yellow paint back on, you know? Uh, hey, click me. Yeah, welcome in. The last Tomb Raider game had that option. Oh, did it to turn it off. Combat and exploration difficulty were separate settings. Yeah. If it wasn't in games, people would also chuck a shit fit because they don't know where to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're never gonna, they're never gonna please everyone, right? There's always someone complaining about something. <laughs> you don't mind yellow painting games, I do think it's overused though. I'm doing better than you did. They're saying that this game is too sexy. I don't know what I want. Shield Breaker delivers a sudden strike, stuns, hit enemies, and deals high damage to their shield. Attack power increases when used after charging. Press and hold buttons to charge. So we need to... L1. Okay, so these ones... L1 triangle. L1 square. I think I might be doing them, but by accident. Maybe if we recharge more beta energy, but also I don't know if I'm really using the beta attacks, but that would also be handy. Or maybe we get the sneak attack. Maybe we get, I don't know what I want. It's fine. It's only the demo. I don't need to worry too much about it. So a lot of the beta attacks are L1 plus, you know, any of the other attack buttons. Maybe we get this one. And we practice using the beta attacks. So it's L1 plus attack, any of the attack buttons really. And maybe we get the shield one. We'll get this one to break their shield. And let's rest. <sighs> you did them by accident, like I would hit attack while I still had L1 held down for a parry. Yeah, <laughs> I'm probably doing that. Um, but yeah, so I might actually, so the HUD that disappears Let's um, go back to these health items. I might keep it so the HUD stays on because I, I do like that. Where was that? I feel like I probably don't even need the hints on. I'm going to turn them off. Probably under display. No. Interface. Yeah, always on. You can change the size of the HUD. 
Medium does, like, looks nice. It kind of flows better with the other icons. And there's a hard background. I kind of like the drop shadow. That'll be good for areas that are like lighter. Okay. Yeah, so but you guys can't see, but behind me on this on the HUD, I think that's got the different the special attacks. I need to remember. <laughs> need to remember that I can do those. Oh! <gasps> the way that she slides down the ladder. We have to go through this building. Very cool. Try putting the fusion cell you have here. It was almost it's kind of like how in how the you're the character player in Lies of P slides down the the ladder. Can I open this? Okay, okay. I'm not gonna go this way just yet. I wonder if we'll get like a different environmental area. I wouldn't mind an area that's a bit brighter. What are you looking at here? So we need to put the thing that we found in here. Did that, did that just open? I think this opened this. Okay. Inside. <gasps> what the fuck is that thing? Shield. Eve is protected by a shield. Eve has damage reduction while the shield is active and damage reduction effort increases as the shield's protection level increases. The protection level decreases after each time the shield takes a certain amount of damage. Some enemies are also protected by a shield. Enemies have damage reduction while the shield is active. Destroy the shield to stun the enemy and disrupt their skill use. I think, and if we do... Wow, you, can, you grabbed me. Okay. We don't like that. Ouch. Yeah. I'm trying to do the special thingy and it's not working. Okay. That is not working. Heal, heal, heal. Go and heal, Emma. <laughs> I mean, we just, we're just we just near a, a rest stop anyway, so... I don't know how- I don't have any left, that's why it's not working. I don't have any of the- the, the beta stuff. I was like, why isn't it working? But I- because I need that. Ouch. It's fine. It's okay. I- okay. It's okay. It's almost dead. It's fine. Barnacle. Ooh, what's this? There's probably got more enemy. Adam, what is this? Info Don't we can look at in the already? menu. It's a map. A map. How do you synchronize the location on the map? Uh, is that all? <gasps> That's a big stack of books that we just knocked over. Plastic Hearts, Volume 3. 
You like how she goes up the ladder too, JS? <laughs> I feel like we're gonna find out these enemies are people that have been corrupted. Mm. Beta skills? Sorry, I only have alpha skills. <laughs> I think the, the guitar might be fine. Anyway, we gotta read this. Volume 3. I feel like we should read Volume 1 first, but okay. Athena. My love, wait. Palace. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Try to do a little better. You said you danced to For Whom Does the Rose Smile With Me? I know I did, but can we go a little slower? With beauty, with grace, just as we were born. My little treasure, I am a hacking device. Cyberspace is my realm. I don't know how to dance like this. Alright, alright, right. You're dangerous and cute and weak. There, I won. Quickly now, quickly. Sh should I lick the plug? Lick the plug. Ah, dear Mother Sphere, please forgive your sinful daughter. Okay, I don't really even know what I read. Alright. These enemies are people who weren't sexy enough to go to space. <laughs> I still think that she, I don't think she's a human. I think she's a robot. There's like the controller started making movements. That's not the right wording. <laughs> when I walk over there, the controller starts. I can I can feel the controller doing things. Um, I did want to have a look at, uh, the data bank. We've already read this document. Ooh, look at the cover. Uh, and then enemies. There's a lot here. Hey, Daxius. They really made everything jiggle. Oh, that's a mutated creeper. This is like a bigger one. If you see any creepers with sparkling fluorescent spots on their red bodies, you must take caution. These large, strong monsters are veritable soldiers that guard their groups. Mutated creepers will attack aggressively by waving their tails, stay calm to defend and strike back. Mutated creepers can spin and charge at great speeds, trying not to take a blow to the face. Barnacle. Barnacles are natibas with thick shells. Amongst the other natibas that evolved amidst competition, contamination, and preda predation, they were smart enough to have powerful defense. In particular, barnacles' shell barnacles shell covered legs can be difficult to cut through with a single mono monomolecular. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Cutter. Rather than living weapons, they are living shields. They can render all attacks from the front useless when they lift their shell covered legs. You need a smartest you'll need a smarter strategy. We were fine. Cricket slasher, these were things are creepy. Crickets are natibas that look like a horrid mix of crickets and other living organisms. Their shells look like naked bodies and they can develop hard chitin? Chitin arms depending on their need and role. Cricket slashes have two arms and one middle arm, which they swipe like a weapon. Guardian. Some natibas try to imitate things in the envi environment to adapt, and this natiba that looks just like a guardian statue is one of them. It is a dreadful monster with flesh and tendons hidden beneath its stony skin. They have hard skin, but they are slow and simple. Be careful not to let them capture you in their giant arms, as they would that would spell danger for you. Yes. Yeah, these are very similar. This one's got like the spiky... Oh, you can't even see. I'm hiding it. He's got the spiky hand. While stone statues erode with time, Natiba's mimicking statues do not. Heavy guardians have killed, devoured, and constantly extended their own bodies to become uncontrollable, bloodthirsty giants. They possess a very strong body with destructive powers. Their mace-like hand can shatter the ground. They charge with their heavy bodies. Avoid them so you don't get crushed. And this creepy tentacle thing. Hydra. Is it chitin? 
Hydras are a hybrid and ATBs that look like aliens. The bags on their bodies allow them to float. So that implies that these enemies aren't aliens. I think... Did the game early on say that we're on we're on Earth? I feel like it did, but I... If you guys, you can confirm that for me. I think so. Um, the bags in their bodies allow them to float and they can move using magnetic fields. They can also camouflage themselves in their environments, like assassins hiding in the ruins. Hydras can float and attack quickly. You need to find a weak point to hurt them. They can instantly become invisible. When they become invisible, it will be difficult to avoid their surprise charge attacks, but we can do our little scan thing. <gasps> we can play the piano. Oh, looks like this used to be a library. Are these boxes displayed on the wall storage devices? Sort of. They can only store up to one megabyte of data. <laughs> What a waste of resources. Okay, she doesn't actually know how to play. She she pressed some of the keys, but she doesn't know how to, how to play. Ah. One of these guys, huh? Ouch. I should probably heal. But I've only got one left. Oh, I died. Okay, that's annoying. I thought I had I could take more damage. <laughs> Do I need to redo all of that? Hopefully not. Hopefully collecting the items. Uh, say yeah, I open that's open still. That's there. Okay. And that guy respawned, but. I think the info that we have should still be that we received. Yeah. I purposely did that that special attack. I definitely was doing them by accident before. Which, I mean that's fine. Okay, is this well, oh, maybe this is where we're meant to go. Maybe I should go back. There's the other door. The crack is quite deep. It's going to be difficult to pass. <laughs> we'll have to go across, past the parking tower. Okay. Well, before we do that, we're going to go back. Because I didn't realize this was where we needed to actually progress. Because what about, like, over here? There's all of this. I figured that door back there was, like, a, a secret one. And if you only get that item, then... Oh, oh, this is a shortcut. I see, I see. No worries, JS. Thank you for letting it get hangry. Enjoy your dinner. I wish we could, yeah, we walked faster when we're fighting because she walks so slow. Ouch. Yeah, okay. So that's just like a heavy attack. I should get out of the way of that one, I'm guessing. Ouch. Yeah, so it's doing multiple attacks. Like, no, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. And we can do special attacks. If I remember to do that. We're getting a decent amount of coin as well. There's something red over here. 
What is this? Is it just a light? It's just a light. Okay. Are these statues... Nothing? There's got to be something around here. I think so. I couldn't walk as fast as she does in those heels, to be honest. True. Shielding enemies. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. I actually do have a skill that is good for breaking enemy shields, which I probably should have used. But I did not. Hmm. Yeah, I knew it! I knew it! That you weren't in. Weren't even in the right spot. I'm enjoying the gameplay so far. I don't feel like there's too much of a delay, personally. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna heal. We gotta heal. We gotta heal. We gotta heal. I like how she throws the healing item. I remember I can scan if I want, because I would have seen them. What's this? That looks like a human and they've got like full covering on. Obviously they can't probably breathe in this environment. Lament of despair. The network has been destroyed. I'm completely disconnected from the colony. Colony is a data link. We have nowhere to fall back to. Is this the Natiba's doing? Is the colony safe? What happened to Mother Sphere? I lost track of time since even that won't automatically correct itself. For the sake of my own sanity, I must keep track of the calendar by force editing my memory stick. Okay. We don't know if the character is a cyborg or what. Uh, I don't know at this point. I suspect she's a droid. I think she's a droid. But that's just my suspicion. <laughs> Oh no, I need a passcode for this one. And I don't have it. That's so annoying. I wonder if that's maybe something that... Hmm, is something that we can't do in the demo? Or if I just can't do it yet? Well, that's two that are nearby actually here. Because we have the shortcut now. I... Mm, we've only got one heal left, but we've got the other ones as well. So I was like, should we rest again? But then this thing might respawn. We'll see. Oh, there's some statues there. Can I open this? Oh, it does not open. From, does not open from this side. All right, that's gonna be a shortcut later on. I'm gonna attack these things. Okay, you're just a statue. What about this one? Yeah, I thought so. Cool. Oh, nice. We grab that. Sweet. Running around and fighting in those boots. She must be a robot. Yep. Mm hmm. I was like, I don't know, it's just like the the water falling on the edge there. Okay. Uh, we can't go that way, so we need to go up this up the stairs. Parking tower. 
<gasps> Ooh, one of these thingies. I can feel it in the controller too when you get closer. Body core. Max HP increase. Ah, uh, cool. So this is different than we found before. Okay. Ooh. A supply camp in a place like this. Supply camp? What's mm -hmm. that? It's a depot, set up by the airborne squad who came here before. Hmm. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. How come they set up a camp in a corner like this? Well, the supply camp also serves as an important base. Is this parking lot important? It could also mean that this place is very dangerous. Hmm. I just noticed her, her little Eve tag on her. And I guess this place could be useful for us. Choker? Necklace? I guess it's like a choker. Supply camp. Supply camps feature more devices than regular camps. You can use the repair console here to enhance weapons. Hey. Increase the rechargeable tumble account. And upgrade your exospines. And upgrade Eve's combat capabilities. Also, you can upgrade your drone, craft nano suits, and fast travel to other camps. Roleplay nights! Thank you for the raid! Welcome in! Hello, Kieran. Hello, everybody. Uh, I hope you had a good session today. I know you guys probably got to do your um, post session chats. Um, but welcome in. Hey, Seagoat Games and Bakers. You almost died? Hey, Sam. Well, I'm glad you guys didn't die. <laughs> um, that's, that is good to know. Also, Sim, have you seen this game before? Have you seen the character in this game? <laughs> you might be interested. You can upgrade your drone, craft under suits, and fast travel. Yes, for anyone that is uh, just coming with a raid, if you don't know me, I'm Emma. I'm an Australian variety streamer. And we are checking out the uh, Stellar Blade demo. And so far, it's a lot of fun. We just found an area to like upgrade a bunch of stuff. But this is our character. Ooh. Is that food? I think that's food. Um, okay. Do I need to activate the camp? Yeah. So we need to use the vending machine for this one. Oh, Cute. There's a little, like, cover. <laughs> okay, that's repair console. Fast travel. Shop. Skill settings. Rest. Yeah, okay. Let's have a look at the repair console. Attack power enhancement. We like that. We've also, we don't have enough of these, but there's tumbler enhancement. Gear socket. Yeah, we'll do this one. Oh. Nice. Cool. Thank you for the follow. We don't want to fast travel. Uh, skill settings. I don't know how many... I've got one skill point and we almost have another one. Uh, yes. This one. Oh, okay. So they want to choose which one I have. Select Blink. I don't know if this one was available to me before. Can only be used when an enemy is attempting a fatal attack. Dodges and teleports 
behind the enemy to attack. Stuns the enemy, charges a burst energy upon landing successful attack. Okay, so this is when they're doing their kind of, yeah, their big heavy attack where it goes. They glow like, I think it's like yellow and then blue, is it? Yeah. And so we just have to dodge when they're doing one of those attacks. Okay. I'm happy to learn that one. I don't know if I can choose something else, but that's fine. Press square to train your skills. Yeah, enter training. I mean, we could give that a try. We'll give it a try. Welcome in, Lizard. How you doing? Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. It's like the skill of the key is the training. You can also try out skills you haven't learned yet. Oh, that's oh, that's nice. You can try ones you haven't actually got yet. Because if you try it and you're like, oh, actually, I don't like this, then you're not locked in. If you're not used to combat, try increasing your proficiency with various skills through training. When an enemy glows blue and attempts a fatal attack, use blink to counter it. If the enemy is within the skills range, Eve's sword will glow the same color. Ah. Okay. Press L and circle when Eve's sword glows to move to the target's rear and counter attack. So it says press L. I'm assuming it just means like I move it, unless I then want to click it in. Okay, maybe I do need to. Are you gonna attack me again? Okay, I'm not doing that right. <laughs> Okay, so that I am doing that. No, I'm not. That's just dodge. Is it forwards? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Pink lemonade. What does it mean by the L and the direction on it? Does that just mean move the control stick? Does it mean click the con like the left stick? I'm not sure. Cuz I'm not she's not going around the back. You press L3. You think it means move, like dodge into him. You mean move in that direction, yeah. So I guess... I guess move forwards? Because they said they're, they're with the arrow pointing up, so... You're going to be okay. <laughs> I'm not obviously... You can see if you're doing it right as well. That's really handy to know. Because I'm trying to just go like... Forwards and dodge at the same time but she's meant to go behind and teleports behind the enemy maybe i'm doing it too early and notice when my sword glows i'm meant to do it but when i when i'm doing it it's saying i'm just dodging it's saying i'm not moving forwards I'm also not noticing Al. I saw it did do a little glow there. So yeah, I don't do it when it go glows, it's when my sword does. But I'm still not doing it right. There we go. Okay. 
I so I did just need to push forward. I don't you don't need to click it in. But I was doing it too early. Okay. Cool. Now I got the timing down. That's great. That's fine. I was cuz I was looking at when he went blue, but it's no, it's when your sword. So there's quite a bit of a delay on that. So you kind of don't want to do it too early. Need to remember how to do that though. But that's good. Uh, I think that's everything we wanted to do. Oh. She was like pushing against it. Oh, we can push things. Okay. Let's rest. Um, for anyone that's played the demo, um, how much. Adam? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Wait. About yesterday. Thank you for saving me. I figured that was him. It's nothing, really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Oh. It's all right. That now means we can help each other. We can track down the Alpha Nativa together. And, well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll have done more than enough. Listen, okay. don't worry. I promise, I'll make sure to repay you. I did figure it out, Sean. Yes. Yeah, I was, I was, I was doing the right input, but I wasn't doing it at the right time. Um, I was doing it when the enemy glowed blue but you have to like they glow blue and then if like a little bit later your sword then glows and that's when you do it so for anyone wondering yeah it's you don't click in you just push forwards as you press dodge and that'll do it um yeah for those of you who play the demo is there a lot left to go i kind of need to go to the toilet so i'm kind of like do i do we take a little break or if we're almost done I should probably take a little break because I do need to go. And we're at, we're at a rest spot anyway, so. I am almost done. I... Mm, is it like... One more fight and that's it? Or do we still have some exploration to do? If it's just like we go into like a fight and that's it. Maybe I can do it just now, because um, I wanted to take a break when we move, change things over to Kotor, but we just got like one more fight. Okay. I mean, they did give us this big camp, so there's kind of a reason for that. We'll, we'll see how I go. If I'm, if I desperately need to go, then I'll take a break. <laughs> but we'll try and finish. Uh, if we're not far from finishing, then we can finish. This is where I came from, right? Yeah. There's nothing else in there, so I think we just keep going up. Yellow. Rooftop. Is there going to be a fight on the rooftop? You can't go that way. Hmm. Look! I had a feeling. That's not an ordinary enemy. Like gaping dragon? Ooh. Adam, get back. Okay. I did it. <laughs> I almost did it by accident, but we did it. Cheese. 
Oh shit. Oh, I did a special attack. That was bad timing. Oh, okay. We're gonna run. Oh, okay. Ouchies. Ouchies, 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 ouchies. Oh, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Run. Run, run, run. Oh fuck. Nice. Do this triangle, yes. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Fuck yeah. Whew. Oh, L1. L1. <laughs> Press it in time. Bro. Oh, this is this is this is not me playing. This is just a. Oh, look at the outfit. You can change your outfit. You got a gun? You got a gun? Adam, are you listening to me? Something serious seems to have happened. I have to return to Zion. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's full of plants and little birds. Pretty. Familiar? I see in the hut there's like a different um this thing called BU there must be different abilities. That was a lot of fun. That was really good. I'm guessing that's it. That is it. Well, that was really good. I mean, I, yeah, I'm definitely interested in playing the full game. The combat was a lot of fun. I wasn't sure what like the the timing would be like and like the special skills but I was definitely definitely getting more used to it towards the end there um so yeah very very excited for uh for this game